Missouri Caverns is in the Valley and Ridge region of Virginia. It is the largest and most popular caverns in the eastern United States. Boys and girls, we're getting ready to do a podcast here at the Ray Caverns, but it is pandemonium. I really don't know if the trekkers can do this, but we're going to try. Wish us luck. It is unbelievable. You would not believe this, boys and girls. People hear that the trekkers are coming and it is standing room only outside. You can't even get in yet because they can't clear a path for us. We need some security to get us through here. We're going to have the best time. I'm David. And I'm Brad. And I'm Alfonso. And I'm Frank. And, and we're Virginia Trekkers. And today we're taking you underneath the state of Virginia. All the way 164 feet down, folks. You're going to see some cool colors of rocks and you see some neat formations. And we're going to learn all about weathering, erosion. Come on, let's go. Luray Caverns was discovered in 1878 when a local man noticed that cool air was blowing from a sinkhole underground. It was first discovered when they came down, the very first column that they saw, they named the Washington Column from our uh, first president, George Washington. And this is Washington Column right here. Hey boys and girls, we're right here with stalactite. Easy way to remember it is you're trying to hold on tight from the roof. And what you see here is calcium and limestone that is inside the water, and it, the water is still dripping in this cave. We'll try to show that to you guys later. But it's dripping down and leaving some of the deposits from the ceiling, which forms the stalactites. Frank talked about the stalactites, the one coming from the ceiling. You hang on tight. Well, we have the ones coming from the bottom. These are stalagmites. They might reach the top. Here's an example. Boys and girls, there's a stalagmite and a stalactite, and they're just about to connect. A few more drips, and they'll be connected into what's called a pillar or a column. And you can see behind it, there already is some stalagmites and stalactites that have connected. Hey, one of the reasons the Virginia Trekkers wanted to come to Lorraine Caverns is because things are still happening here. Yeah, you can come here with your family. Yeah, you can come here on a field trip. But this cave is still changing. If you watch this podcast in 2008 and come here in 2009, you might see completely different formations. And if you look right over here, you can see some of the changes still happening. You can see a whole bunch of water rushing right down through the cave. You can see lots of water in Luray Caverns. That's because water was used to make this huge cave. Limestone is a special kind of rock that forms in blocks. So when it rains, the water can get between the blocks, and it actually starts to act like an acid and dissolves the rock. Then when the water level drops, it leaves behind a hole or cave. As water continues to drip into the hole, it carries with it deposits from the ground, and these start forming the stalactites and stalagmites, kind of like an icicle forms. So you see, water and erosion over time created the beautiful formations in Luray Caverns. Boys and girls, do you see all the stalagmites down here? Mites meaning they might come up to the top? Well, it's not really what it looks like. That's actually a reflection of the water. We have standing water here in the in the cave. Those are actually stalactites. They're up on the ceiling and they are on their way down. So let's pan up there and see the stalactites. And coming down, the reflection. Pretty cool. Water's around here making changes as we speak. Okay, boys and girls, if you look right here, you see what appears to be a wall inside the cave. Well, how is there a wall here and there's nothing but empty space right beside it? Well, as you talk about in science, as water moves, it breaks away the soil and the rocks. So that's what we call weathering. Even though there's lots of water in Larry Caverns, there's no life, no fish, no plants. Why is that? Well, if you think back to what you know about the food chain, all food chains start with what? That's right, the sun. And there's no sun down here in a cave. So there's no plants that can grow and therefore no life. However, Frank is going to show you, we did find a few plants. Hey boys and girls, you see this green right here? If it wasn't for us humans, you wouldn't see that green. The green that you see here is from cave algae, or it is cave algae, and it's caused by the lights and the humidity from our bodies and our breath that cause things to grow down here in the cave. We are so deep down in here that if there would be no light, it would be completely black, and as you know, plants need light to grow. Another thing you'll notice about being so deep underground is it's very quiet. Has your classroom ever been this quiet? And it's also very cool. Hey boys and girls, inside this cave it's a nice cool 54 degrees. And it can be 100 degrees outside or it can be snowing and freezing outside and it would stay 54 degrees inside this cave. Because all the rocks and dirt around it are insulating it. 
before we go, let's talk a little bit about the colors that we see here in the caverns. Where you see pure white, that's the purest form of the calcium. When you see the orange and reds, you're going to get that from the extra iron. When you see the green, you get that from your copper. And when you see black, there's some black around here on the top, you get that from your manganese dioxide. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of compounds, a lot of chemicals going through here. But it sure does make some beautiful colors. Did you know that Loray Caverns is home to the largest musical instrument in the world? That's right. This is the great stalactite organ. And the reason it's the largest instrument is because it's made from the whole cave. It produces notes by tapping on different stalactites. If you listen closely, you can hear it playing. The dripping. See, they're still dripping. It takes about 120 years to make a one cubic inch stalactite. And you're thinking, what is one cubic inch? Here's my cell phone. This is two cubic inches, about two cubic inches. And we're looking at 240 years to make something this big hang from right here. As we headed out of the cave, we stopped by a very special column. All right, everybody, we're on our way back up out of the Luray Caverns right now. And we're stopped at this column. And this column actually has some significance. At the base of it, uh, they found some bones, and they were human bones, and they believed they were from a Native American girl. But they did not find a complete skeleton, which leads them to believe that she was buried on the surface, and a sinkhole collapsed, and everything that comes from the surface of the earth eventually ends up underground. So when the sinkhole collapsed, the ground collapses, she, her bones came with her, and she was, her bones were found here. And if you want to see her bones, they're no longer in the cavern, they're in the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. Maybe you've noticed that there's different shapes to the stalactites. Well, what causes those different shapes? Frank's going to tell us a little bit about that. Hey, as we've been walking through the cave you've, or the caverns, you've seen a whole bunch of different shapes uh, formed. And right now we're looking at drapes. And as Alfonso was talking about with the colors, you can see that these are made with the iron oxide. And it's all about how the water flows through the cavern to make the different shapes. So the water here flows in an S pattern, which makes them uh, thin. They're still very, very hard. And if you look over here, we have ones that are made by straight drips, straight down, and they form nice, straight spears, very, very sharp. All right, boys and girls, as you can tell by the sunlight and blue sky, we're all done here at the Ray Caverns. And remember, the Lorraine Caverns are in the Ridge Valley region of Virginia. We hope you learn lots about the rock formations. And we hope you had a great time with us at Lorraine Caverns. Check out our podcast at www.virginiatrekkers.com.